first of which are public questions. <coughs> Can I report to the Cabinet this morning that we have a public question that has been received by Mr. Weston, Mr. Sherbourne, and if the Cabinet are so minded, we can call Mr. Sherbourne to ask his question, Chairman. Are you agreed? Agreed. Mr. Sherbourne, if you'd like to come forward. If you don't mind using the mic so we can call you, if you'd like to ask your <coughs> question. Good morning, thank you, thank you for um, allowing me to ask my question. Um, it's a year since Councillor Smith announced the Churchill Gardens management plan. Um, there was half a million pounds put aside for Churchill Gardens, and I was just wondering if I can ask Councillor Smith what progress has been made against the business plan, how much of the funds are still available, and what can the residents of the area expect next? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sherborne. Um, I'll ask Councillor Smith to answer your question, and I believe that he'll hand you a, a written copy of his response <coughs> at later in the meeting. Councillor Smith. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sherborne, and thank you for your continued interest <coughs> in all things Boscombe, and in this case, especially the Churchill Gardens management plan. Um, and as you quite rightly say, it was adopted by the full council on the 19th of January this year, and it contains 20 actions. Uh, appendix 2 of that management plan uh, sets out uh, immediate action projects, which we will we'll deal with in the first 6 to 12 months, and the medium term, which will be 1 to 3 years, and then the longer term, which will obviously be somewhere in the future. Now, as usual with these, there's a, a long answer and there's a shorter answer. So I've, I've got a, a longer answer and time should take quite a long time to read out. So if it's okay with you, I'll you give a short summary at this stage and then yes, I'll give you the full response. Uh, the short answer is this. Uh, the Churchill Gardens management plan was adopted by the full council on the 19th of January and it contains 20 <coughs> actions. Seven of these are anticipated to be addressed within six to 12 months of the adoption of the management plan. Uh, we've done a detailed uh, dated photographic audit of the properties of the conservation area that have been completed to provide a baseline <coughs> of measuring change within the conservation area. This will lead to a useful tool for enforcement purposes. A full budget of 395000 still remains for improvements to properties in the area <coughs> through a council in-house grant system, which is in the process of being set up. In the coming months, residents can expect to see the start of implementation of the grant scheme, which will focus initially on the reinstatement of the original front boundary wall and gate designs. And the other areas for enhancement in the coming months will focus on repainted with the light columns and lanterns, so they are one colour, and they're currently green columns on black lanterns, and signage audit and removal of traffic signs that are not needed. Now, as I said, the, all the detailed parts about the rest of the actions are listed here, so if I hand you this, you will have a record for it in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I'll come back to uh, Councillor Thompson for the other items. Many thanks, Chairman. If I can refer you to item 